Hi guys, good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm back in Wales again and uh, I've headed out to the uh, Brecon Beacons this time, so South Wales, but uh, I'm at a place called Linny Fan Fach. I think it's pronounced that way. Linny Fan Fach. But uh, tell me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But uh, yeah, there's uh, a lovely lake up here and it's surrounded by, I don't know if you can see, some lovely ridges. Look at them. Absolutely beautiful. So what I think I might do first, because the sun is obviously setting, sun setting over the hill. It's going to be a while yet, but the, sh the tones and the shapes on that ridge are absolutely stunning. So I think I might have a quick cheeky fly with the drone. Just see if I can take it that way a little bit and just try and get all the different tones and textures and ridges. So uh, I'll get the drone set up now and have a quick fly. Well, I'm hovering in quite a nice spot at the moment. It's so windy and I'm already two and a half thousand foot away, so I daren't take it anymore. I'm not quite far enough round the ridge really, but um, I'll pop the image up now, guys, and I hope you like it. I'm not too sure that shot from the drone did that ridge justice. It's absolutely stunning. The tones and the textures on it are uh, absolutely beautiful. Running, running all the way along. All the way along. Lots of ripples and different edges and layers. Absolutely stunning. But uh, anyway, whew. As you can see, I've got this backpack on again and I'm having to go at wild camping tonight. So that's the plan anyway. Plan B is back in the van. <laughs> but uh, I'm just making my way to the lake now and uh, try and find a, a bit of a secluded spot, if that's possible, out of the wind a bit. Because I'm actually here really for sunrise. That's the plan. You know, sunrise coming over the lake with these beautiful ridges in, in the foreground. But that's the plan anyway, so... Just making my way, got about another 10 minutes to get to the lake, have a look round and uh, we'll get set up for the evening. Whew, this is getting me fit. <laughs> Well, what a climb that was, but uh, made it. <laughs> and uh, it's quite funny really, because obviously I've just had a quick look to see where I can set up camp. And right on the edge here, as you can see, I'm right on the edge of the basin, if you like. And uh, right on the edge here, it's blowing a gale, as you can hear. 
20 yards that way, flat calm, which is ideal for the tent, so brilliant. Can't quite see the lake, but uh, it'll be ideal for, uh, for doing a wild camp overnight. And I've just had a bit of a, a scout round to try and get some sort of composition set up for sunrise. And uh, quite difficult really, because I, I had a, you know, a sun star coming over the horizon in my mind, and uh, it's just gonna rise, well, the sun's gonna rise over, as I'm standing here, it's gonna rise there, just over the land. So, uh, obviously I'd like it over the horizon, but if you look here, I've got some nice craggy rocks that just, just makes a nice composition. You can't really see from there, but makes a nice composition with, with the lake and the hill in the background. And obviously, by the time the sun comes up, all this should be, should be lit up nicely. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna set up camp somewhere around here and uh, I'll, I'll get up nicely early in the morning and uh, if I need to dash sort of 50, 60 yards that way to get it coming up, get the sun coming over the horizon for a nice sun star, I will do. But uh, anyway, definitely time for a coffee now. So I'll get the tent set up and uh, get the stove on. Job's a good one. I just thought before I set the tent up, I'd nip across the hillside and have a look what was over the other side and uh, one heck of a view. Very, very hazy, but uh, there's lots of nice layers. If I just turn the ND filter down a bit, you can see all the layers, perhaps hopefully you can see that. If I stand out of the way, turn that down and then gradually bring it up, the mic, you might be able to see. I can't really tell on the screen whether you can see or not, but certainly some nice rolling hills and obviously the Brecon beacons, that's all they are, but uh, beautiful view. It might, there might even be a frame in it for the 70 to 200 with a few, a few different layers. I'll have a go perhaps. But, uh, Anyway, while the sun's going down, I'll get the tent set up. Well, finally got set up. Took a while to find the right spot to the wind's really got up now. As soon as that sun went down, the wind got up, but uh, it's not too bad here. I'm a fair way from the lake, but uh, not too bad. Still got a lovely view. I'll just turn the camera. I don't know if you can see that with the torch on. But... A lovely sunset, it was beautiful. And uh, I don't think I got a brilliant frame. You'll have seen it by now if I did, but uh, I tried to get them layers, but I don't think it really worked. But anyway, more importantly, I've got the kettle on, so we're getting brewed up. I've got some pasta and sauce ready to go in. I've got my coffee ready, uh, got the bed set up. What I thought I'd do, I'll run through all my camping gear in another video. Um, so I've only just recently got it all, so uh, it's all pretty new kit. So uh, hopefully it'll be all right. First test run tonight, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go through that on a different video. But uh, yeah, looking forward to the morning now. So, oh, we're boiling up. So uh, I'll turn this off get a coffee on and get me tea done and uh, get me head down then so job's a good one catch up in the morning Anyway, we're up, we've had a coffee, 
and I've just taken the camera down to the, the brow as you just saw and it is so windy obviously coming up off the bowl and then over the over the top here so I've just come back 50 yards to do a quick quick uh, a quick chat with you guys I'm just waiting for the sun to come up we've got a band of cloud over on the horizon so the, the sun the sunrise is going to be about another 10 minutes I should think I'm, I'm desperate to get that sun star so I'm going to try and get that and then once I've got that I'm going to make my way further round and higher up and then wait for the light to come into the bowl and hopefully get one or two shots from up there so I'm going to keep my eye out on the horizon for the sunrise and uh, catch up in a minute Crikey, I've never experienced wind quite like it, so I've had to come away. It was just getting a bit too dangerous. I tried getting up at one point to get this video camera and it knocked me over. <laughs> Luckily, the right way. <laughs> but uh, So I've come away now and uh, I'm about 100 yards over the hillside, but the sun is trying to burn through the clouds and uh, there's some nice wispy clouds coming over the, uh, the hill, the, uh, the ridge there. So I might try and get a time lapse in a minute if I can get the camera set up but uh, and uh, until the the sun shines in the bowl here I'll uh, <laughs> I'm gonna stay well back so uh, I'll have a go at a time-lapse <laughs> What we've got there in the end, the sun's burnt through the clouds nicely, although just as I say that, I'll just turn that down a bit, you can see the cloud rolling in again, really rolling in across, across the back of me there, but uh, yeah, so the sun's burnt, burnt through it nicely. I've got the majority of the composition, majority of the frame lit up nicely, the far side of Linny Fanfac Lake is lit up nicely, and a bit of the, the near side's lighting up as well. Uh, obviously I had to wait a while because the cloud kept rolling over the far ridge and I just couldn't, I want, obviously I wanted that ridge in the right hand side of the composition so uh, obviously you'll, you'll see in a minute but uh, yeah so the craggy rocks are lit up nicely in front of me so yeah pretty happy overall really. The lake's got a lot of ripple on it, that would have been nice if it was uh, you know looking like glass but uh, we can't win them all. But um, I had to knock the aperture down a bit to f7.1 because I wanted to keep the shutter speed up to try and keep the grasses in the foreground nice and still nice and sharp which uh, I've just about managed I think so uh, f7.1 1 60th of a second ISO 100 I ended up uh, settings wise and yeah I'm 95% happy with it but uh, I'm pleased after braving the wind I have stepped back away from the ridge a bit now and it's as you can hear it's still blowing a gale but uh, I've never worked in wind like it so strong absolutely phenomenal but uh, I suppose it's just coming over Linny Fanfac Lake and then it's just coming up the ridge and over the top and wow so strong it's uh, quite scary really but uh, you know, the clouds are rolling back in now anyway but uh, right I'll uh, make my way back to the van now it's time for another run out of water but uh, anyway I'll put the image up now guys and I hope you like it been blown down the hill <laughs> rather quickly crikey it was a bit dodgy no b-roll not coming down there <laughs> but uh, just before I go I thought I'd show you guys the the lovely shapes and, and textures and tones that we've got in this face there if I just turn that down a bit see there's lots of lots of almost like nice peaks obviously there's been some sort of sort of rock fall or shale fall in, in years gone by and then it's grown over again but uh, yeah lots of nice shapes and patterns so I just got the 70 to 200 out and just took a quick frame of it so uh, just thought you guys might like to see it but uh, I'll pop it up now.
Well, what an absolutely stunning place. Shame it's got a bit windy today. I had lots of plans to fly the drone, but never mind, far too windy and dangerous today. But uh, happy with what I got anyway. So, uh, yeah, jobs are good. And hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching. Leave any comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. It's great to hear from you guys. And uh, we'll catch up on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Catch you up soon.